What's happening, Magnus Sykes? Roman Reigns. Ooh! Ah, let's talk about why Roman Reigns has what it takes to be the next face of the WWE. I know a lot of y'all ain't going to agree with me on this. A lot of you will, okay? So, first off, look, the man is in the royal bloodline of greatness, okay? He is cousin to the rock, all right? So, greatness is in his blood, okay? Like, it can be harnessed, all right? He has the potential to be great, all right? The rock wasn't great on the mic when he first came out. A lot of people... Um, uh, forget that, okay? They talk and they talk about how Rowan ain't fluid on the mic. He's 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 boring or whatever. Look, the dude's getting better on the mic. He is. He's getting better on the mic. He had a little bit of slip up at TLC. I think he was nervous coming back, so we can let him slide for that. When he was on Raw, a Big Show came out. And he was like, "Look, Joe, you come down here. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth." Okay. When he said that. The way he said it, it was organic, it was natural, it worked for me. And he had some style with it. He was kind of cocky with it. He kind of like, look, you big bitch. You come the fuck down here, I'm punching you in your fucking face. Now try me. And he did it. Smooth, he did it. Superman punch, okay? He dropped it, all right? Now, I think he's going to get better with the mic work, okay? Now, there are a lot of champs. I think there's... You know, champs in the past that didn't exactly talk all that much. You know what I'm saying? But they were good enough to get a few lines out, you know. But their performance in the ring is what really did it, okay? Now, um, I don't know if he will ever get to the caliber of his cousin on the on the mic, okay? But I'm saying, what what I'm saying is I think that he will get good enough on the mic to hold our attention. I think there's potential there for that, okay? So it's the mic skills. Athlete. He's already, okay, so we already know he's an athlete, okay? Football, former football player, this and that. He's already an athlete. Athletically, he has what it takes to, 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 to go with anybody in the ring, okay? Uh, <clears throat> next is the look, all right? The man looks like a damn savage, okay? His stature, his height, his build, the long hair, the tattoo, he looks like a savage. He looks like somebody that'll kill somebody, that'll whoop somebody's ass, okay? Um, the women think he's attractive, so that gets the female viewers in, okay? Um, you know, like I said, he looks like somebody you don't want to fuck with. Now, my cousin says that he does the pouty mouth from time to time, which he does do. I just don't know if he's trying to get the ladies, or if he's um, in deep in thought, like, hmm, should I spear this motherfucker? I don't know. So, all right, so he got the look, all right? He's got the athletic talent, okay? And, uh, look, the talent. Oh, and he's in the royal bloodline of greatness, okay? So he, he, he's got it in his blood to be able to do this. Now, uh, last but Certainly not least, this probably should be number one. And I didn't place these in any order specifically. Okay. Um oh, let me let me tackle this too. I know some of y'all are like, oh, he needs more filler moves. He, you know, in between shit, you know, I, I I know, I know, I know, but I can deal with that. Okay, that's not something that I noticed. That's something I've heard guys discuss. So I'm like, oh, okay, I never noticed that. Me, I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm cool with him doing what he's doing. Now, a few of y'all say, oh, well, he's only got a certain amount of moves. Think about this for a second. In all reality, all of the top guys, no matter who they were, okay, they, 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 they had their, their specific move set, that that was their moves, you know what I mean? Um, Austin had the stunner. He had that, that elbow. Merrily, when you start fucking around with uh, Bret Hart, you used to do the jumping elbow. Um, you know, he's got that, um, uh, later on, I think he changed it to where he would just come off the ropes, giving you the finger and drop the elbow on you, you know, um, like I said, the stunners, the elbow, there's the, you know, the rope to the rope, then he would jump on you, uh, and you know, uh, you to get that off on you. Uh, then there was stomping a mud hole and you, you know what I mean? There's his moves that he got 
But yes, in the middle, I understand he had other filler moves, you know. The Rock's got the DDT, the Rock Bottom, the People's Elbow, uh, that Flying Elbow smash that he does. Um, you, know, you know, like I said, you know, Hogan, you know, he had the leg drop. Uh, he had the leg drop. Uh, what was Hogan's main moves besides the, oh, shot, oh, shot, oh, shot, the rope, big boot, leg drop. What was, what, what, what were Hogan's, uh, you know, body slams, um, you know, uh, anyway, so see what I'm saying? Like, I can't even remember what, what Hogan had, but I think if the character is built properly, his weaknesses will be overshadowed by his strengths, you know. I mean, Goldberg was kind of a prime example of that, I think, you know, and while he was the right place, right time, you know, there's always right place, right time shit. Um, he, 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 he didn't really talk on the mic. I thought he was all right on the mic. I thought he, thought he was okay. When I listened to Goldberg, sometimes he would get me hyped because he would say quick things, you know, like, you know, like I remember his first speech, he had said something about, um, you know, he'd been seeing something about what Hollywood Hogan and his cronies have been doing and, and WCW ain't like it and all this other stuff. And, you know, you know, uh, you're next. You know what I mean? That was it. I was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm fine. I didn't think, you know, that he had to, you know, do a whole monologue to really keep my attention. I don't think Roman Reigns needs to do that either. He can keep it short and simple. Put a little stank on it, you know. Put a little, put, put a little swag, a little style on it, a little cool effect on it, and I think he's gonna be fine. Well, I did, like, like I said, when he said, "Big Show, hey, you come down here, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth." You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that was right for who he was. I thought it worked. Now, last but certainly not least, he is better than John fucking Cena. Okay. I cannot understand what, first of all, as far as the men go, I'm speaking for the grown men here. <laughs> Who would you rather hang with? John Cena or Roman Reigns? All right, then. Who do you think is pulling more bitches? Roman Reigns or John Cena? Who do you think will win in a fight? John Cena or Roman Reigns? Who do you think is the better athlete, John Cena or Roman Reigns? Who would you rather say is your dad, your uncle, your cousin, or your brother? Roman Reigns or John Cena? You noticing the pattern here? Because I'm sure you're all answering at home by yourselves, like, yeah, he he's he's got yeah, he's got a uh, he's got a point there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Better in every single way than John Cena, okay? Um, John Cena is fucking corny as hell, and I have no idea how a character that fucking terrible could be on top for that fucking long. Like I told you, he must have signed something, he must have had something in his last contract that he signed, or he's got pictures of Vince McMahon fucking midgets in the ass, that he's gonna release if they don't keep him at the top and kayfabe him to the greatest champion of all time because he's not. He is absolutely not. There's a ton of other guys that I can name that are way better than him. Shall I do it? The Rock, Austin, Hogan, Macho, Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, um, Ravishing Rick Rude, Scott Steiner, Lex Luger. Uh, I know a lot of y'all compare him to Lex Luger. I think Luger Luger's better than him personally. We got Sting. We got Flair. Okay. We got Andre the Giant, Big Show, King Kong Bundy. Okay. We got Ahmed Johnson, the Junkyard Dog, Booker T. Batista, Randy Orton. I mean, I could keep going. Chris Jericho. I mean, all these guys that I'm naming are better than this motherfucker. And like I said, he did something. Or he's got some company secret that he's going to release, okay, that is going to destroy 
All right, the WWE, if he is not kept at the top, okay? The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, okay? Bret Hart. I mean, I could just go on and on and on. You know, Psycho Sid. I mean, all these guys are better than John Cena. And CM Punk. I mean, everybody is better than him. I don't understand why they keep him there, you know? The, the kids, kids are cheer for who you, whoever's on top anyway. That's how kids are. Even if it, it was The Undertaker. Undertaker's a scary character, but kids like The Undertaker. Don't matter. They could put anybody in that spot that they want to. And I don't know why they continue to get, ghetto gag us with this motherfucker and torture us all these years with John Cena. I'm sorry, I'm going into a John Cena hatred rant. But like I said... Roman Reigns all the way. Yes, there's other guys that you take that spot, but if that's who they're going with, I'm behind it. If they if they try to push him in our face, the fact of the matter is they've done that with every other star too, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Every other star was on top. It was nothing but Austin, 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 Austin. You know, what? 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 Austin 316, you know, all the, th I mean, it was all in your face. Same thing with The Rock. Anybody that's on top is going to be in your face. But it's just the uh, nonsensical, the uh, sheer insanity of what they're doing with this guy. He's totally killing wrestling. I don't even really watch it anymore. I just tune in from time to time. I'll catch it on my um, DVR. And, uh, you know, I fast forward through everything, you know, that I don't like. And that's always John Cena, uh, you know. So, uh, Roman Reigns, um, yeah, the year of Roman. Uh, it's time for Roman to rule, all that other shit that people came up with. Uh, yeah, so um, let me know what you think about Roman Reigns being the next guy in line. I would take him any day over John Cena. Woman subscribers. Woo!